very much, Sophia. As Ismail Anwar makes his way to the ring. Take on Michael Chunky Devine. who won three of his first four fights, all of them up in Yorkshire for Amwa. Three's against Christian Lake, Leroy Smedley and Robbie Barrett. But it hasn't been the perfect continuation for his career, that's for sure. Five victories, one from knockout in his career so far. Ten defeats. Fired up for this one, though. <laughs> we'll have to do something to get past Chunky as the crowd chant his name here. Westernfield to the <laughs> entrance music, that's for sure. The man from Luton, the 27 year old. 12 victories in his pro career. Four losses, though. He lost in his last fight in the 0 2 when he faced Tommy Martin for the WBA Continental Super Lightweight title. support Michael Devine. It's not an arena that has some fond memories though for Michael Devine. He lost his first fight of his career against Mark Alexander here. His fourth fight to start his career, losing on TKO. Wouldn't lose the fight again until December 2014 here against John O'Carroll. So we get round one underway. And Chunky, you get the field, Daryl. Will be on the prowl tonight. So yeah, bounce back from that defeat at the O2 against Tommy Martin. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I think he's going to come out here and try to. Uh, Stamp his, stamp his name down back on the map. You know, uh, he did uh, fight uh, my friend and stable mate, um, Adam Dingsdale, as well, which um, he, he lost that fight to. Um, you know, so uh, he hasn't lost to people that are, you know, haven't got any ability or ain't particularly going anywhere. You know, so it, it, it's, it's just the domestic level, really. You know, but he, he, he might be able to do a thing here tonight and uh, get, get his way back up again. Get himself back in contention, perhaps. Looking inside into the body. Had a good shot to get in there. Three nice blows, the first and the third, really landed with conviction. Only fought once down in London. That was at the XL Arena. Lost to Romeo Romeo.
generally fights up in Yorkshire a lot of the time. Happy to come down to London though to take on Michael Devine. Chunky, that's for sure. That's being flung around there, though. Hamwa had a grip of the arm. Tangled up in close quarters again. After getting caught by those early blows, and Anwar again was caught by another one. He's done a good job of kind of staying mobile here. both won it very hungry two fighters that aren't holding back in the opening round this six round lightweight matchup he's got the support and what no, not phased at all by his opponent Disappointing loss back in June 2015, Anwar, when he lost the British Board of British Board of Boxing Control Central Area Lightweight Title in Barnsley to Robin Barrett. Lost that on points. <laughs> we get round two underway. foot and uh, work his magic, you know, he, he's always coming back, always retaliate for a punch and, and, and land quite cleanly of his, of his own punches. First real pause in the flurries from these two, although they get straight back to it. Times these two seem to be throwing the same shot at each other and just catching each other. Yeah, just counteracting everything out, just cancelling everything out, you know. So, uh... Good right hand to just get away from the ropes and get some separation, although Kavin again using the left. Try and take control, establish control, but it doesn't last for too long. I think it was too clean there from Anwar. But it showed the idea that he wants to fight fire with fire. Anwar seems to be taking a lot of these shots on the chin and with no response. He doesn't even, when I, when I say no response, I mean he doesn't even, it doesn't even phase him. It's like a, another granite chin. <laughs> Certainly not trying to slow things down though, like we have had earlier with some of our other fights. He wants to keep the pace going, but Devine also trying to be aggressive. 
Good right, left. Left in particular, getting around the side of the head. Another good right. But again, just doesn't even move Anwar. Not even a step back, takes it on the chin. Steps up, goes again. Again, he tries to break down the defence. He's got a couple of shots inside as Devine tried to get one into the body late on in the round. Easily tough one to call at this point. And if Chunky thought it was going to be easy stepping back into the ring after that loss. He had another thing coming. He certainly <laughs> did. Um, I I, I, I'd call it... Um, Quite even now. I, I, I say that these two rounds have been um, equal. Work. I can't. I can't see anyone that's really done more work or land clean, landed cleaner punches. I think it's. I think it's even Stevens right now. It's not much to split the two. Slight bit of swelling, I think, round the left eye of Dubai, but he's taken a few of those right hands. And they're underway for round three. It's the halfway point. Just allowing a little bit of space through the gloves, Divine. And flung to the ground there. That's certainly not a knockdown of any sort, more of a martial arts throw than anything else from Amwat. Yeah, a bit, a bit of judo there. Oh, and Amwat went with the raised glove to almost apologise. I like that, Divine, I like that. I would have done the same thing, mate, I like that. No room for niceties. Michael Devine. He got a good shot in as well. Once more, Anwar is just not phased. Gonna come from underneath with that uppercut. Strong right from Chunky. And again, some real nice blows, but Amwar almost staring them down. Barely rattled They're on his feet and coming forward. For the moment there, Anwar. Divine unable to take the opportunity. A flurry of fists. Try Divine and again. Thrown down to the ground. Anwar being told that there will be no more of that. It's a hefty thud down to the deck as well. Yeah, that, that, that will definitely take out of you that, you know. Straight down to the floor, just knock, knock all, your co all your oxygen out of here, do you know what I mean? Not quite a blow to the body, but certainly something to take the oxygen out of the lungs. And more, I won't get any more of those. Divine will be frustrated. Is that happening though? And you notice there as well. Now that the, uh, the raised glove didn't come out from Anwar that time, I think he learned his <laughs> lesson from the first one. <laughs> Again, the 
It's no slouch. The man from Huddersfield as he sits in the corner. No, he looks he looks ready for war right now. He he looks like he's he's really, really, really thinking he can he can he can win this. Divine has been able to connect but certainly not been dominant. And I don't think the punches that he's got through have yet to show any damage. On Anwar as round four gets underway. Again, it's staying composed when you see that the punches that you're expecting to cause problems aren't doing that. Well, you see, that, that, that's what it is in the, in the ring, you know. You, you end up battling with your own faults. And uh, if you're hitting someone and they show no no sort of weakness, no sort of damage, you really do start to doubt your abilities as a fighter. And it's for you to have the discipline within yourself, you know, to, to compose that and, and keep going. Straight left, just sneaking through from Anwar. Anwar is definitely piling the pressure now. He's putting, putting the van on the back foot, you know, Feel that he could perhaps cause what some would consider a real upset. Thank you, going low to the body. It's a fighter that's had problems with injuries as the two get tangled up again. Michael Devine has had rotator cuff problems, shoulder problems. He's still very convinced. He can be back to his best. Broke his hand when preparing for a fight last December. This is really considered the fight for him to get his career on the move again. It is a tough slog though at the moment. And what? Lays down a couple more shots that just keep Divine caught in the corner. And while throwing so many punches, he, even though Divine is, is being quite elusive and moving his head, he's still getting caught and he comes back round to the middle to line his um, body back up. And while definitely showing, showing that work break can, can benefit in fights, it's not just about technical ability, or just about how talented you are, you know, he seems really, really fit for this fight. And why doesn't look out of breath at all. Even when he sits on his stool, he, he's upright, he's, re he's, he's ready to go. Took a shot into the body there. Just came round the left slightly from Divine. Divine needs to try and push him back with a jab now. Well, Very we'll have to wait. Jab, stiff jab. Just for a moment. It's back to the corners they go. Round five. In just a moment. build on the momentum that he's just had in the last round and a half or so. Divine went looking with the left and what tries to strike at the same time after seeing an opening. Little jab to the body, nothing more than that. And squeaks its way through. Again, there's frustration from Divine's corner. 
So his trainers watch on. Goes low, looking to the body. Anmar just not feeling any anything from these punches. Divine almost dragging him around the ring there. I have to say, not much seems to still be landing too square on the chin of Anwar in this last round and a half or so. Divine was caught there with, with, with an uppercut. He really lifted his head up. Not looking for a reply with an uppercut of his own, but nothing but this. thin air. punches and he holds on. There's a couple come back his way, a couple more squeak through. And one's caught him. The head not exactly lolling from Divine, but two or three made it straight down the barrel. And then a right round the side as well from Anwar. And that is number five in the books. We go into the final round. Daryl, have you got the man from Huddersfield just edging it at the moment? Then, based yeah, on the last two, yeah, I, I really do. I think I think Anwar is uh, is ahead on the scorecard. I'd be very surprised if he isn't. You know, he, he's uh, he's landing a, a lot a lot of the cleaner punches. He's also mainly the aggressor in the fight. You know, and um, he, 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 he he's the one that's dictating. He, he's He's putting the force down in there tonight. Plenty of discussion in Divine's corner. He's just not able to find a way through now. A lot of the punches that we've seen in that last round were lacking the energy because he's just drained from watching this. Yeah. Very laboured, the punches, very laboured. This man soak up the pressure. Even when they do get through, then very little effect coming from them. What do both of these fighters have left in the tank, though? The final round underway. A nice shot from Ryan, but still, Amar just takes it. He just keeps on coming. And he had a slight knock as well with the left from Amar. That's what left the man from Huddersfield slightly exposed to the right hand of Divine. Again, as you say, Daryl, it's not rocked him at all. Anwar, happy to throw plenty of punches. Divine looking for the odd one or two. slightly around the side of the head. Divine forced to just take it. Straight left, catching Amor on the chin, but again, there's a lack of venom really in it. All it did was push the head back slightly, hardly had him really. Divine has just lost the snap in his punches right now. He's, he's anything he has, there's just, there's just nothing in it really to, to, to hurt Amor. Not quite been a year since his last fight, but perhaps physically there's a little more to do for Divine. That's a quick combination from Amwa. He's got a really 
really intriguing battle between these two. I think some of the fans just seeing an opening every so often, but they find unable to capitalise on it. charge well that's all she wrote divine with his hand raised in the air and what relaxed walking across to the corner very competitive fight there yeah. um, quite i think the the two fighters are quite uh, even when it comes to uh, boxing boxing itself you know but i personally think Anwar won you give it to Anwar on the decision. It's going to be interesting how the judges decide this one, that's for sure. I tend to agree with you, Daryl, I have to say. Just that what punishment that Anwar did take didn't knock him back at all, and perhaps just the pace and the power slowed down at the front. As the fight went on, let's go down to the ring to see how the judges ruled this one. Mr. Schmidt, ready to give us the announcement. There's been no reaction from the Anwar camp just yet, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action, the referee after three rounds of contest, 58 points, 57 points, to your winner from Ardisfield, Israel Anwar. Anwar gets it, close, and Devine doesn't like it. Yeah, the right man won tonight. Um, Chunky, uh, he seemed to um, look a bit confused about the decision. I don't know what he really thought um, was going on there, but you know, he, he, he must go back over and watch, and watch, and watch the fight and, 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 and see what kind of uh, mistakes he made and where he got caught. You know. I, I think that decision was very, very decisive. Even unanimous. going over to just have a look at the scorecard, I think, how it's been scored. As is the rest of Team Chunky. He's perplexed. Anwar was very cautious in trying to claim the victory at the end of the fight, that's for sure. I think he knew perhaps that the crowd had the backing of Chunky, but goes Ismail Anwar's way on the points decision. 58 to 57. And well, congratulations on the win. It was a, it was a tough, tough performance out there. It was a very tight fight as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it was to be fair, but obviously we don't come to lose. You know what I'm saying? We come to win. We don't come to just move around and mess about. So I'm back now. I'm back. I've had a bad year. Obviously, I'm back now, so... I was going to say, you've had 10 losses on your record, but it's good to be back to winning ways now. Well, to be fair, like, obviously, I won my last title fight in March, and then, obviously, I've had a downward cycle since then because of work and that, so... Thank God, obviously, the only place I can thank is God just to put me where I am now, and obviously, I'm, I'm on up at the moment, so... Can't complain. Well, congratulations on the win. Thanks well done. Thank you.